Hey guys, and welcome to another free plugin Friday. Today we are looking at a very newly released plugin that came out a few days ago from the great people at Valhalla DSP, and it's the Valhalla Valhalla Supermassive, which is basically every big sounding delay, weird reverb you could ever want, and yeah, free for such an amazing plugin. So we're going to take a pretty deep look at this, um, go through the different modes, go through uh, kind of the features. Um, to begin with, we're going to go through the features basically uh, with just some very simple sounds and then showing what the reverb can do. And then I might play some guitar and stuff later because this makes a really cool guitar reverb. So let's just start off. Uh, so that was a very simple thing I used. There was guitar, there was a couple of synths. And what we're going to do is take this one synth part here, uh, this one, and we'll turn this off and basically work with the plugin with this very simple part on a loop. So that part just goes like, like this and this is what it sounds like with nothing on it. Very simple synth bell. And then I've got it set up as a delay at the moment, but that's what's going on. So let's bring this out and have a look. So basically the way this plugin works is based on delays. Uh, like all reverbs are based on delays. And basically you set the delay time um, and then you use other functions to kind of go from sort of standard sounding delays, not really, to big expansive reverbs. So you've got your basic control of mix, of course, and you can lock the mix. Uh, so that it doesn't make a difference. Um, now you've got a width control and this is sort of what you th think, you know, you've got your width amount. Mono is in the middle, however, and you've got negative width. So basically any of the delays that pan a certain direction um, will pan the opposite direction and stuff like that when it's on 100, uh, minus 100%. You go to delay time. Now this can be synced it can be a milliseconds, it can be triplet, it's cool. So you've got your milliseconds, which is for reverbs, probably what you want to go for. Um, but then you've got uh, notes, so you can sync it to your door with your standard notes. You've got your dotted and you've got triplets, which is great for cool atmospheric rhythmic delays. And then you've got the warp, warp control. And if you read down here, the best thing about Valhalla delays is how simple they are. So if you read down here, um, down below mode, I can't point this area here, but yeah, I have to keep my mouse on there for you to actually read it, tells you what each of these controls do. So this is basically delay length relative to the delay setting. So what that means is as you turn it up, multiplications of that delay time will be before that delay time, if that kind of makes sense. So you'll get not just the, you know, so say you've got it set on, you know, quarter notes, 0%, it's gonna be each quarter note. As you bring that up, you've got more and more and more different delays that are kind of almost random. And then that sounds more like reverb because you've basically got scattered delays that, yeah, don't really follow that delay time anymore. Uh, you got feedback, which, you know, is pretty simple when it comes to delays. When it comes to reverb, it's kind of almost like your reverb time. Density is basically how quickly they become reverb. It's a little bit more complicated than that, but it depends on each mode, and this is where it makes a difference. On some modes, density at full with the warp down, you do get distinct um, delays, but they kind of fade in or do like really cool stereo stuff, uh, which is interesting. Um, and then others is more reverby. And then you got modulation, which is your very simple depth and rate chorus style modulation, um, which basically modulates the delay time like most modulation does in these kind of plugins, and an EQ, which is basically a high and low pass filters. So what I'm gonna do is start off with Gemini. I uh, don't know if there's any reset, but we're just gonna Double click them all and reset them to uh, basically reset position. Um, so mix is going to be 50%. I'm going to loop this and just go through the controls, then we'll look at the different modes. 
So that's basically 16th note delay you can hear there. Quite simple. I'll just turn it up a little bit so I can hear it a bit better. And so of course you can go eighth notes. And you can hear that modulation already in there if I turn that off. So you can use this as a delay if you want. It's got some interesting different things going on though, but you can use it as a delay. Um, and then like I said, you can do milliseconds, as it's called fluttering when you move between it. And dotted, I love dotted delays. Let's turn the feedback up on that. Cool. Now let's look at the warp control. So while we've still got the warp here, you can hear those distinct delays, right? Now that's because I'm shifting it while it's delaying, you can hear that pitch shift. But if I go up here, you can hear it going into reverb. As more and more delays are brought in. And we turn up more. almost completely a kind of low-fi kind of grainy reverb there. Now you can hear the delays coming after that kind of reverb sound, so it's kind of interesting. Turn the feedback up. If we turn walk back down, we go to density, and these two really play into each other. So, I'll show you what density does and we'll add them in together. So let's say we go 50% on density. And 100%. You start hearing these more complex things going on. And like I said, it does depend on the mode. But let's say we add warp in. So I'm going to bring density down and we'll put warp to 50%. It's kind of reverb you right? And bring the density up to full. Now it's much smoother kind of reverb. Turn that feedback up. Doesn't sound anything like a delay anymore. Now with the feedback down, you can hear it kind of sound grainy and like a delay. Um, so let's put that up to somewhere here. So really these three controls plus your delay time is most of what changes the character outside of the mode control and it's the, what really can shift between interesting delays and interesting uh, reverbs and all that kind of thing. Uh, then you've got simple mod, we've kind of already heard that a bit, um, it's just really chorus so if we go back to a standard kind of delay sound, turn it up, it's way more chorusy. So that pitch modulation is it's, technically it's more like vibrato because it just modulates the delay but is it kind of the feedback on themselves sounds like chorus and you've got your EQs so you can really kind of you know if we turn this up and go for a reverb versus So, you know, it's your basic high, low pass EQ. Um, so let's just quickly look at some modes. Still with this sound, just so you can really hear, it's just with short percussive sounds, you can hear the detail in the reverb. Um, but like I said, this works great for guitars and there's a few other little tricks in there. Um, and we'll probably use some presets to really show that. Uh, so what I'm gonna do, I think we put everything at about 50%. Density, uh, feedback, I'm gonna put the modulation down a little bit um, and EQ not doing anything and we'll listen to the different modes. So like I said you get the information down here. So this is Gemini mode which has got some simple ex echoes and a high kind of density. Hydra has double echoes, whatever that means. But you can hear the stereo feels completely different. Centaurus. 
This one's really cool. It's almost got this fading in effect. Now, if you turn down the warp and turn up density, it's kind of cool. Listen to how the delays work here. It's almost like a multi-head delay there because of its dual echo. It's got dual echo, repeating echoes. And then if you're going for more of a reverb sound. And here we zero density that the stereo field does a really interesting thing too. Uh, so let's move to Sagittarius. Now they're all named after constellations, but it's pretty cool. Um, which is a long reverb, repeating echo, slow attack. Uh, so again, I just want to show it with the warp down so you can hear what the echoes are doing. And this is kind of, kind of interesting too. You hear that slow attack. Which when it's a reverb, Real quite interesting there. It's like somewhere between a kind of fadey delay and a reverb. It's really cool. And now the Great Annihilator. Um, this is one of the biggest reverbs. So again, delays sound like this. You really hear that feedback coming in. But with warp. Great for pads. If we go back here and change the delay much bigger, so we clear it so we can hear it from the beginning. You can still hear that delay where it comes in, but it's just magical. Uh, let's, I want to go back to the dotted because I just, it's just a good reference point. Um, Andromeda, uh, long reverb, repeating echoes, long decay, slow attack. Then with the warp down at zero. It's like a multi-head delay that gets louder as it goes. It's expansive delay it's really cool so if you can find the um kind of balance between reverb and delay you can get some really interesting things so let's say we go to warp here density down a little bit it's like a delay that morphs into a reverb and has this kind of expansive thing going on andromeda is probably one of my favorite modes and i've only played with this plugin for like 20 minutes um, then you got Lyra, which is a low density single echo. It's probably better if you want to go for more of that delay thing. So let's turn these down and turn density up. See what's doing. Doesn't do a lot. Um, bit of warp, you get clear it. You get a really kind of grainy delay. But if you want maybe more of a room sound. Um, it could kind of work. Turn that mod off. So that's where you get your kind of really kind of short reverbs would be with Lyra. And last we have Capricorn, which is single echoes, medium density. So we've gone past the most, I'd say, interesting weird ones, but uh, this one is still pretty good. Let's have it all up. Fade back back up.
Let's turn that warp down. Feed back up there, clear it again. Hey, for a delay, that is just something. It's like something you probably just wouldn't just come up with with a normal delay plugin. Add a little bit of warp. Clear it, add a hell of a lot of mod. Bring the EQ down. Maybe not that much mod. So that's all the modes and that's basically how the plugin works. But as you can hear, I barely touched on any of the sounds. I just messed with things and you got completely, I'm going to clear that. <laughs> you got completely different kind of delay reverb things. Now this isn't your mix a whole band with it kind of, I want a vocal plate. It is your, I want some real interesting textures and stuff going on. So uh, there's a bunch of presets. So you got echoes, you got mod you got reverbs and sound effects. So let's just say we go quasars and you want rings around the world. Let's just listen to this. Or forever verb. The thing is under massive reverbs maybe. Oh, here under quasars. Uh, let's go eighth note magnetar. So yeah, that's just some of those presets. So I wanted to have a look at guitar. I do have this guitar track here. Um, we'll first look at that uh, because I'll show you what I kind of did with it, which is a little bit more interesting. So I put on the stereo bus here, is use it for both reverb and for um, modulation, which you can do because it's got modulation and you can just make really short reverbs. So the first little bit we've got here is just eight voice chorus, which is just from the mod preset here um, so you got flanging and stuff because most modulation is really just pitch modulation on short delays that's how flanges work that's how choruses work ensembles those kind of things um, and it can be a bit more complicated by that with multiple LFOs and stuff but but that's the basic concept um, if you want a more complicated and much more in-depth modulation uh, Valhalla Uber mod is really cool uh, but basically, yeah, this was it dry. Just normal guitar. Just playing chords, right? And then just delicious chorus. Check it out, feedback. For kind of the insane sound. Then I added uh, this Final Frontier preset which is huge. So let's start with this dotted eighth chorus echo, which you can kind of get the idea of your typical dotted eighth. Down a little bit. I just need to hear it a little bit better. Get the idea, that's a typical dotted eighth. What about lustrous dotted eighth? There's this 
looping one is kind of cool. And you can automate functions to do cool effects. <laughs> uh, the synth guitar, let's just go some guitar, soupy eighth note. Standing a little bit further back, I'm just going to refocus this camera just a touch so you can actually see me play guitar. Okay, so moving on from the echoes, because yeah, 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 cool, echoes. Every delay does echoes. Let's have a look at some mods. So, chorus we heard before, let's go synth ensemble. Couple this with some of the cool reverb presets and you're good. You're so good. And maybe some of a flanger. Okay, you're probably bored of modulation by now, so let's go to the reverbs. You got small, medium, large, massive, and they've all got really cool names. So let's go space verb 1999. Let's bring up a little bit of the mix. reverbs are kind of boring so let's move straight to medium now there are things you can probably use in the mix here like dirty snare and ballad vocal but there's probably other plugins better for it like vintage verb and valhalla room though if you don't have any reverbs this is free so yeah but there's a great few free reverb plugins that might be more suited but they're here in case you want to use them on that but let's go swelling synth verb <laughs> Lovely, lovely swelling. You could probably feed that into another reverb again and maybe use three versions of this. From what I can tell, it's not that DSP intensive, so it's great. Uh, let's go, well, we're still in medium, wide vocal swell. Obviously I'm using on guitar, not vocals, but some really interesting vocal stuff we could use it on. What I could actually do is just quickly change this to my input mic and let's listen to what that sounds like just quickly. Hello. I'm going through guitar ramp as well. But then we've got this space thing. 
so get ready. And back to guitar. See, cool effect. I mean, yeah, I had an amp on it too, but you could definitely use it. Oh, it's cool vocal effects. So uh, maybe I'll hold, do a whole lot of video on vocal effects and include this plugin. Uh, let me know down below if you want that, uh, because I read all the comments. So just let me know. Uh, hydra harp, because why not? <laughs> Shoegaze's dream here. C beam is moving to massive and this is where you get your huge forever pad things billions and billions good for your new wave new wave good for your new age good for new wave too but you new age guys and i like a bit of new age stuff sometimes um, that ambient stuff. This is where this is where you want to sit. These kind of settings, and and of course you don't have to use presets. I mean, most often I don't use presets, but it's a good starting point because you could do so much with this plugin, and then just go from there. Dark Matter, who doesn't like Dark Matter? Then we turn the mix all the way up so we don't have any dry guitar. That is a pretty cool reverb. Uh, we're gonna look at one more uh, massive one, 60% uh, off infinity. Delay forming into a infinite reverb. <laughs> We've heard some of these already. Let's go planetarium. Let's do the 50% mix. <laughs> if we do mix on full. <laughs> Who needs a keyboard player anymore? Just put this in parallel and bloody hell, you don't need a keyboard player, you can just do some stuff, you know? Massive, massive. 
Let's try the void, because you always want the void. Oh, this is cool. This would be great for movie soundtracks. Okay, so we might leave it there, um, but basically that was Valhalla, super massive. Like I said, complicated plugin, so there's a lot more you can go into. Basically, if you want some weird ass delays, some cool ambient reverbs, some stuff you don't get from your normal delay and reverb plugins, this seems like the ticket. And I'm, I mean, I've always been a fan of Valhalla DSP. The first reverb I ever bought was Vintage Verb and I still use it all the time on guitar tracks. Um, I just think it sounds great for when you want that kind of bigger than real life reverb. I use a few other reverbs for vocals and stuff. Not that I can't use um, a Vintage Verb, but I do like to mix up the kind of tonalities of reverb. Uh, so you get a bit of different sound mixing and matching your reverbs. But for this kind of huge ambient stuff, this is great and I'm so happy this came out and I definitely am going to be recording with it soon I reckon I'm going to put it on some of the stuff I'm working on for some of the more ambient parts just because it just has such a cool feel so thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed uh, this video uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell all of those things. Free plugin Friday is every single Friday. I did have other um, already done videos ready to go up for this Friday, but then this came out and I thought this is way more important. Uh, so that's kind of how I roll. If a cool free plugin is released or comes to my attention, I will last minute make a video. So if this video is a bit sloppy, it's because it's fairly last minute. I only just got the plugin and decided to record with it and shoot a video because I wanted to show everyone this plugin and I wanted to mess with it myself. So that's kind of the format. Um, but I've got plenty of other videos coming out. I just got a new camera, so hopefully soon I'll be able to shoot some more guitar videos, some more kind of general videos that I want to cover certain audio aspects. Um, so you're not actually seeing this camera. I'm using my phone for these because it's on my desk. I can't fit a normal DSLR stand on my desk, my desk against the wall. Um, so I have no way of really shooting it. I don't have any mounts or anything that could work for that. So I have to use my phone or GoPro or something for this. But for the guitar videos, obviously I can shoot them. You know, I'm in an apartment, but I can shoot them like that. And I'm probably waffling now. So like I said, like, subscribe. I'm gonna say a lot of times just because then you can get those videos. Most of my viewers aren't subscribers and it'd be nice to really get out to the subscribers and show them new videos and just get some feedback too. I mean, if you think this video sucks, maybe just tell me in the nicest way possible. So I'll catch you next time. Hope to see you next Friday. Uh, a few videos are coming out soon too and hopefully do a few live streams. So ideas for that too. See you later.